hi everyone it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm back with another tutorial now today we're going to make this and I just think it's so cute like a little handbag and inside you take it out and isn't that cool it's what you call a squash card and I just think it's absolutely brilliant so I'm going to show you how to make this now you can um it, it does look complicated but it's not really it's um not as bad as it looks so I just think it's lovely honestly really really cute so this is what we're going to make today so the things you're going to need i'm going to do this one in night of navy and i'm using the affectionately yours um foiled dsp for this okay so you need a piece of cardstock that measures 10 inches by 5 inches okay and you also need well we'll go through that first so 10 by 5 then you need where's the other piece there should be two of those there it is there and then for the actual card for the little panels you need 10 you need well you need 10 all together but you need eight pieces of the DSP which are one and a half inches square same size one and a half square but you need um, two of whisper white because what if I get this out again um, what I did was I actually stamped on them for you dear friend I mean you don't have to you could just cover it all in them but for this one I'm using eight of them and two of them okay so that's what you need for the card and for the little handbag your card needs to measure two and a half by five and one eighth and you need two more pieces of DSP which both measure one and three quarters square and for the little handbag this is half an inch by six inches okay and that's just for the little handle right that's everything you need so we'll get started scoring the 10 by 5 piece so get your scoreboard pop it in on the long side okay and score it at two and a half inches five inches and seven and a half inches okay then pop it on the short side and score it at two and a half inches okay and that's it for the scoreboard so you'll now have four squares top and bottom eight all together and we just need to do some scoring with our ruler and pencil so sorry ruler and stylus so really what we're going to do is in every box we're going to score a square sorry a cross okay in every box and I find the easiest way to do it is to start with the top right and just score the diagonal okay and then just move along and you could probably do a few at a time just go straight down 
okay and then again move along just go through all three together Okay, and then you want one in the little box at the end. So you've got all them lines that way. Now we just need to go this way so it creates the um, the crosses. So we'll do the first little box on its own. And then we can just do what we did before and just score them all together just to save a bit of time really. Just make sure you get it all lined up as best you can. And that's it for that. And that is what you should have. Okay. And if you look, what you will actually see is three diamonds interlinking together. If you look, you will see three diamonds. And then we just need to cut away the little outside pieces of the diamond and then once I cut it you might see what I mean by that so what we need to cut away is the outside of this diamond shape so bottom piece here and go along okay and then you've got three little triangles just cut all three of them away And then the last one you just go straight down like you did with this one so I meant cut both sorry I meant cut two of the triangles away the last one you just go down turn it round the same here and then you've just got two little triangles just cut them away as well And then I think you might see what I meant about the diamonds, like three diamonds interlocking. That's what you want to have left, okay? So we'll get rid of these. And now we just need to um, fold it and get it into the shape that we need it to be in. So take your bone folder and I'm going to start by folding upwards this way and then sideways this way okay and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to take this back and 
then what you want to be achieving oh sorry and then over this way as well you need to have it so that when you push you push that you've got them two bits and then it just falls like that okay you can give that a bit of a burnish as well all right and that's just what you need to achieve so again the same with this one open that back out a bit we'll just go this way this way Yeah, because actually the middle one falls down over so I've probably done that wrong so fold the middle one back the other way because when you open that one out it goes in if you can see the middle bit goes down and the two sides go out that's it and then you'll have that bit there and then just do the same with this piece here and it goes that way that's it right they need to go down there we go And there you have your little squashy card okay so it's that kind of mechanism so now we've got all our little pieces and like I said before because you've actually got four you've got two white ones and two patterned ones that you don't need to cut in half because they don't fold so this part here and this part here you can keep them whole and also the two outer ones because they don't fold in half if you'll notice on this one when i go to close this When I go to close it, those two don't bend and neither do these two end. They don't go in half. I mean, I did that wrong. I should have put a whole one on there, but you see, so you can put whole ones. The other ones left, which will be the other six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to cut them. Um diagonally in half to put on each side okay so I'll just show you what I mean these little pieces I mean I'm just going to do it with scissors because they're quite small so you need to cut them the rest of them all in half so that they will stick on the rest so I'm going to do that get these all stuck on um, apart from these two because I want to stamp on them so we'll stick them on last so I'm going to stick the rest of them on and I'll be back when I've done that okay so I have stuck all of them on and I think it looks really 
really pretty so like I say we've got our two pieces of whisper white which I'm going to stamp stamp them this way I've got night of navy and birthday blooms I'm using for you dear friend okay so I'm going to have for you dear friend so I think that will um that's yeah put that on the other one actually and I thought it looked um really nice so we will have for you on there and dear friend on the next one there we go I think that looks really nice So I'll just use a bit of Tombow, so that's what I've stuck all of these down with, Tombow. And then all we've got left to make is the little bag and that's really simple to do. there we go I think really do think that looks um really really nice and it just falls up great and the thing is you can stand it up like that as well you know whoever want you're giving it to they can just stand it up like that or lie it down but I think standing it up looks really nice okay so there's our little card done we just need to make our handbag now so taking our other piece of night of navy which is two and a half by five and one eighth we just need to score it so take your scoreboard and pop it in on the long side okay and score this at half an inch two and three eighths two and seven eighths and four and three quarters and turn it to the short side and score it at half an inch okay so that's what you should have and then i'll show you now we have a small we have a, a square there like a small little rectangle we just need to cut that away okay and then just cut up there notch cut up there and notch because they'll be the tabs okay so i'll move this out the way so just fold and burnish as normal I'm just going to get me little snips out for this okay so like I say we need to cut this little rectangle away we don't need that and then just cut up here and just take a little notch out of each one okay and the same here so just cut up there and a little notch 
and a little notch and that's what you should have and then our two pieces of one and three quarter square DSP um, I'm gonna have obviously one on the front um, one on the back so I'm gonna stick those on now and then they're done and we're just about finished Okay, and then this little tab here, you just want some double-sided tape or glue just down here and peel this off and then just stick your little bag together. Okay, you want the seam at the back, so that's going to be the front. So they're going to go in there that's going to go there so I just want a little bit of tape along here so just get that nice and straight there you go and obviously when this is folded up this fits lovely inside so now the little handle if I can get a hold of it yeah this is half an inch by oh sorry did I say six it's not it's half an inch by eight and a quarter but I think that's too long is it yeah it needs to be half an inch by six inches so half an inch by six inches and i just pop that on the side with a bit of tape so just a bit of tape i mean you don't even have to put a handle on you could leave it or put some ribbon on whatever you want to do this is just giving you an idea really you don't have to do it the way I do it so little piece on there and just try and get it to look level so I would see about there and I'm quite happy with that and then I've got some of the gold one eighth of an inch ribbon I'm just going to cut a little bit off and just tie it round the middle of the, the little purse the little bag or whatever you want to call it I just think it's such a lovely little idea and a lovely little gift to give to somebody and it's definitely something different and really really cute as well with this little bag because I think when you give it to the recipient and they get it take um, the little thing out the bag they're probably not going to expect it to be what it is not to open up into this um, you know lovely card paper, paper craft project whatever you want to call it so there we go there's our two little um purses and the card that was the 
original one I made so I hope you've enjoyed it um, and I hope you'll have a go at making one so until next time thanks for watching and bye for now